hilarious. Is there anyone you kind of based him on and had that inspiration in your head about who you wanted your genie to be? You know, guys, uh, Guy had a uh, very, Guy Ritchie, the director, had a very uh, specific take on what uh, he wanted the, the genie to look like. He kept saying, 1970s bodybuilder. Right, that's what <laughs> he was saying. I wanted, yeah, he said he wanted them to look like one of those 1970s bodybuilders, you know, where the upper body is really huge and the legs are small because they, they never do leg day, you know. So, it, it, it was uh, that was sort of the comedic take on how he wanted it to look. Was it fun for you to have like play more of a flamboyant character because some of your characters they're always quite funny but quite yeah, serious? Yeah. Was it fun just to let go and go mad? You know, that's what um, what Robin Williams gave to the genie that was spectacular. And that was the thing that I was working really hard to, to capture, but get, you know, giving it my flavor. It's like the genie will say anything or do anything. There's a certain madness to the genie that was the fun that Robin Williams created. So I was trying to find what that meant with, you know, my, with a little more Fresh Prince flavor to it you know but uh, I wanted to create something that was both nostalgic but also had a little a little bit of a uh, new school on it I know say again oh no no it's uh, quite stressful and daunting Robin Williams didn't leave much room to improve on the genie uh, we were just talking to Alan Menken and he said one of the things Guy Ritchie wanted to do was give Aladdin a bit more swagger. Yes. Did, you, did you kind of feel that and did that, did that give you kind of a, a fresh perspective on the character? For sure. It was a topic of discussion that we uh, talked about a lot uh, and we wanted to make him a little bit more uh, swaggery and cooler for, for people watching. Yeah, I mean, such responsibility, but it must have been so great to be amongst Will Smith, Guy yeah, Ritchie. Absolutely. I mean, insa insane for, you know, one of your first movies. Yeah, it's a dream come true, dream come true. And what was your like working with Will? Because he's such a presence and uh, such an amazing talent. Yeah, listen, I I've watched his movies growing up and getting to work with him now is amazing. And he doesn't let down as a superstar. He's amazing. Fantastic. I know. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it, it's hard coming blue, you know. It's, uh, unfortunately, a lot of that was digital. We tried the uh, the makeup blue, and uh, but digital is a whole lot better. <laughs> I must thank you really for this character. It was such a joy and such a pleasure to watch you. Uh, thank you so much. No, I had, I had a really great time playing this character. There, there are some uh, ideas at the center of this movie that are uh, really close to my heart. So, um, you know, uh, Aladdin, a, a young boy becoming a man and learning how to, to, to have integrity and, and to be himself and uh, the idea of a genie. Um, being a mentor and you know just helping a person develop I just I just love all of the ideas and concepts in this film How's it been like um, forming such iconic songs you know what's written that the, the songs were the the part that really made me feel comfortable going into the genie when I first watched the movie and I heard they wanted me to play the genie uh, I was like hell no you know, uh, Robin Williams didn't leave a lot of room for improvement on, in the role, you know. Um, but the, the concept that it was going to be live action, that was the first thing. Um, and then when I listened to the music um, and I felt that I could infuse a little old school hip hop flavor to it, you know, that, that was the thing that made me see where I could uh, capture both nostalgia um, but also be able to create something that was new and was my was my own signature. Congratulations on the movie. Thank uh, you. You've done this once before with a, a reimagining of the Disney movie Beauty and the Beast. How is it going back to, to, to this one? Because you know it's such a legendary movie. Well, as I said with Beauty and the Beast, you know live action films is a director's medium, and you need to know what does the director want to do differently. I knew with Bill Condon, he wanted to dig deeper into the into the backstory and into the the time, the reality of the time. With Guy, Guy really wanted to give more swagger to Aladdin, more a contemporary edge to the score, um, and we wanted to really write a song that uh, where we expressed Jasmine's desire to not be kept silent, where she wants to be heard. We wrote the song called "Speechless," and um, you know, it, it was a journey that we took together. It was really exciting, and uh, I, I, the results are pretty damn good. I, I guess with a film like this, obviously you got some fresh energy with director and new cast, but also you got to work with the La La Land guys as well. To That yes. must have been great to bring a nice freshness to it. Yes, Ben Pasek and Justin Paul, two very talented guys. And, uh, you know, we loved getting in the room together and working together. 
they are dear, dear, dear men and wonderful talents and we had a great time writing a song. Yeah. And there's a, I mean, there's a lot of rumours swirling around about what the next Disney thing would be. Obviously you have a, a foothold in some of those movies, Li Little Mermaid, Hunchback and Notre Dame. Are you hopeful that any of those kind of come back to the big screen? Would you be happy well, to do them again? Mermaid is, is already in motion. Oh, that's good. That's fantastic. That must be very exciting. It is exciting. Yeah. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey you guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey you guys!